Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk uh, septic, specifically aerobic septic. I'm going to show you kind of what we did for our place. Uh, we could not do a traditional septic due to uh, the soil that we have, so we went with an aerobic system. And I figured I'd just show you kind of what we did and why we did it. Uh, so to start, I guess we'll start at the house. Here is where the plumbing stubs out, uh, down under the footer there. And the septic company that installed it, what they did, we had a three inch coming out of the house. They stepped that up to a four inch uh, drain and then put in this uh, two way clean out here. And then we have four inch going out to the septic system. So as we walk along, I'll show you. Now we have something a little more than a traditional aerobic. What we decided to do was we put a, I guess a normal, thousand gallon uh, septic tank upstream of the aerobic system so as many people as we have in the house and bathrooms and concurrent showers and all that there was a this will drastically prolong the life of the system and the reason being is that this is like a set an extra settling tank so as uh, waste comes in this extra tank is another baffle to allow solids to settle into this tank and prevent a lot of churn right and so the, because the concept being, if it went right into the aerobic tank, if there's enough kind of volatility and flow in the system, the solids would never actually uh, be given a chance to really uh, settle to the bottom of the tank. And then they would end up transferring into the, the next, uh, you know, series of uh, tanks and filters and clog, basically clog up the works. And where you'd have to service your septic system more often than you should. And so for us, this was kind of some cheap insurance, especially considering we're, you know, we want to be here for the long haul. So that first cover you see there is the thousand gallon septic tank. And then right here is your more traditional aerobic system. Uh, I won't go into details of how they work. Uh, there are plenty of YouTube videos for that, but uh, you know, primary tank, kind of secondary tank, I guess tertiary tank, the final tank, uh, the cap where you put bleach, and then here's the uh, the pump with the concrete doghouse and the controller box. Now, eventually, once we have brick, that controller box is going to move to the side of the house. And you can see, I'll run up here real quick, the, the septic company already ran conduit to move all those control wires and power wires and everything right here. And we're going to stub it up on the side of the house right up next to this disconnect I have here for the septic to get power. So that will make it be installed just a, a lot nicer and cleaner and then for our particular system we got the tanks and we got the control box like i said and then we have sprayers so in our case uh ours called i guess when they spec'd everything out called for two sprayers so you could see where in the yard they dug so here's what the sprayer heads look like and it's just this little concrete uh pad with the sprayer head and then another one down here in the front yard all the way down here and that's it and um, one thing that the septic guys told me was that if you encounter any issues where you start getting some wet spots in the yard and whatnot then they can simply just tap off these lines and add more sprayer heads to distribute the amount of uh, liquid that's being sprayed on the yard and we may need to do that because this particular area is downhill. It accumulates a lot of water. So we'll see how it actually fares when all the grass grows back in and, and everything like that. So that is about it for uh, septic. Uh, I guess it's worth noting that this uh, the septic, a lot of these run on a 120 volt, 30 amp circuit. So that's kind of, a, kind of an oddball. You don't see a lot of 120 volt, 30 amp circuits. But that is what this particular system requires. So that's what we have stubbed out right here with our uh, our 10-2 uh, Romex. So that's about all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.